Usted ha leído probablemente Wendy Moore, es novia de es entre 1998 y 2001. Libro Into the Void. ¿Cuál es su opinión al respecto? Oh, the Wendy Moore book, uh, Into the Void. Um, I, yeah, I read it. It was uh, entertaining, I, and I could see from what I know, uh, you know, with Ace, and uh, it's pretty much true what she wrote, probably. Um, I don't see anything out of the ordinary in the book that would be not true. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's it's worth a read. It's a good book. If, if you read... Ace's book, No Regrets, Wendy Moore's book, uh, Into the Void, and Kiss and Tell. You'll get a bigger, much bigger picture of what Ace is all about. Después de tantos años, ¿qué recuerdos tienes del tiempo que pasó con Ace? ¿Alguna vez en contacto con él otra vez? Well, I, I mean, uh, the years I hung out with Ace was many years, eight, ten years, uh, almost ten years. We had good times. Um, they kind of got ruined because of the Rock Soldiers Incorporated uh, problem. Ace was a roller coaster with, with himself, and he couldn't um, he couldn't handle the, the drug addiction and the alcoholism, which was a big problem. Uh, we, we had to deal with it. I never had a problem with alcohol, and I never had a drug. I never did drugs, um, so I was trying to be a good influence on Ace and uh, try to lead him down, you know, a good road. I mean, I wasn't uh, a goody good shoe, you know. I mean, when we went out, we had fun. Uh, hanging out with girls, um, uh, jamming with the, with the bands. Uh, we, had, we had a lot of common interests. Uh, we were into the space program. Uh, we were into science and things like that. And we had good discussions. And sports. We were big time into sports. So, you know, we had a lot of common uh, interests. And uh, it was unfortunate that the drugs and alcohol was a problem with Ace because it, uh, that's a kind of ruined uh, some of the good times that we had. Did I ever contact him again? Uh, no. Uh, and no desire to either. I mean, our time is done, you know, as friends. Uh, I don't see a reason to be friends again. It's the way it goes, you know. Everybody has an ace freely in their lives. Um, you have a friend that's kind of a bit uh, a screw up, but you try to stay friends with them and try to help them and things like that. And then sometimes you get to a point where you had enough and then you move on. So I guess uh, I moved on and uh, ace was moved on, I guess, you know. A partir de hoy, si mantiene en contacto con John Reagan, Scarlett Rich, Anton Fig, o cualquiera, de los otros músicos con quienes ha compartido giras y experiencias? Have I stayed in touch with them? Uh, yeah, through Facebook. Uh, I've, I've spoken to John, uh, John Regan on the phone a couple of times. Richie Scarlett, uh, his wife uh, sends me messages when Richie's playing, performing anywhere. I haven't seen Richie in, a, in uh, many years. Uh, Anton Fig, I see um, pretty much uh, at the NAMM shows in California. I'm trying to think of the other musicians that were associated with Ace. I think that's what you're, what, you, what you're talking about. Eddie Ojeda from uh, Twisted Sister, I still stay in touch with. The smarter musician friends never took sides, you know, uh, with, with it. And I, the lower musicians that kind of kissed Ace's ass, so to speak, uh, those are the guys that kind of took sides and, and thought I was like, if I hang out with you, Ace won't be my friend anymore, and this and that. But the the other guys that you know uh, at the higher level, you know, they, they, they remain friends with me, and they remain uh, friends with Ace also. I never got the guy, the people that took sides, you know, and then said I can't be your friend no more. And and then later on, uh, I mean, it's been many years. They emailed me over time and said, you know, Ace never really gave a crap about me, you know, uh, I'm sorry, or they apologized or something like that. But, because um, they, they realized they lost a good friend in me, and I, I cherish my friends. Después de haber dejado The Kiss de nuevo en 2002, ha pasado muchos años lejos de la escena musical. Y por suerte, para los aficionados, tuvo un gran regreso con Anomaly. Y parece que esta vez está decidido a mantenerse sobrios. 
en cuanto a su presente. Le gustaría reunirse con él de nuevo, más allá de todos los problemas que has tenido? Yeah, I think I answered that one already. Uh, I really don't have uh, any interest in uh, hanging out with Ace again. I know it's hard for Kiss fan to understand that we had our time. ¿Qué consejo le han dado hace, hace 20 años y qué le dirías hoy? I advised Ace all the time 20 years ago. I mean, uh, if you look on YouTube, you'll see uh, some of the some of the tough times I had with Ace trying to advise him, you know, uh, with money, with uh, the drinking. If I, if I can't ask you about money, why you No, you're me? the worst with fucking money. And I'll tell you, he and you're the worst, he fucking, laughs at me the now. interpreting of the he, fucking money. He laughs at me. Both of you. I told you he was like this. I told you, you, you should have fucking put a handle on the fucking money, gave him whatever he had, and then at the end of the tour, really busted his balls, and at the end of the tour, say, here, Ace, I got a whole bunch of money for you. Pay all your fucking bills yeah, off, right. and you'll be fucking happy. And you ask you're the worst with money, you're the, the worst for giving him the fucking money, and tell him what the fuck is I never lo looked at Ace and went, oh, it's Ace Freely from Kiss. Uh, oh, oh, I wasn't in awe of him at all. We were friends, peers, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. I... I I considered myself um, trying to be a role model for him, being sober and uh, and trying to be a good musician and work hard. And um, I don't think I, just because Ace had this huge success with Kiss, you know, people would think that you know I'd be in like starstruck. And that's one thing I was never starstruck with Ace. And you can see that in some of the YouTube videos. I wouldn't know because I'm not over your shoulder every day. That's right. And what did I tell you from day one? What? What did I tell you from day one when you started a relationship? Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I told you to look over his shoulder like a motherfucker. I'm yelling at Ace, you know, uh, and he never listened. He's not willing to fucking get me a bank loan, even. He's not that's willing not to the, That's not a, a problem loan. solver. That's not You're his best friend. Would you give him a bank loan? No. Because of that ego he had, he wouldn't listen. So his own ego was his problem. Um, with trying to get advice from his friends or anything like that. Ace didn't realize how much of a good friend I was. Um, and it's unfortunate. Yeah. What advice would I give him today? He didn't listen to me 20 years ago. Why would he listen to me today? Uh, Ace is Ace. ¿Cuál es el mejor recuerdo que le guarda de Ace? Nosotros nos estamos refiriendo a algo material, sino más bien un agradable momento que vivimos juntos. My best memory with Ace, uh, that's why I wrote the book Kiss and Tell, because there were so many. Um, I know the book is written in a negative light, and, uh, and it's all in hindsight, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, why did I do this, why did I do that? that that's because uh, the Rock Soldier incident kind of ruined all those good memories. Some of the good times I could, off the top of my head, was playing with uh, Motley Crue. Um, that, that was great. Uh, playing, uh, jamming at the Cat Club, uh, uh, jamming with uh, Ace with Joey Ramone, uh, that was a good time. Uh, working with him in the studio, being creative and uh, writing and recording and playing, uh, those were all good times also. So, hanging out, having fun with girls, that was always fun. There was a lot of good times. But the in the end, the taking care of him, drinking, and the and the drugs and everything, and the, there was a price to pay all the time with all those with all those good times. Ace ha publicado recientemente No Regrets. Su autobiografía no la va a leer. Do I plan on reading Ace's book No Regrets? Uh, of course, yeah, of course I'm going to read it. I did read excerpts from it, and uh, I know he's got a lot of stories wrong. The title, No Regrets, is, is awful. Um, I think it's, it's poor on Ace's part for, uh, for saying uh, that he has no regrets uh, uh, on all his actions. He kind of screwed over uh, his, the fans, he screwed over Kiss, he screwed over his friends, his family, and then write a book and it's titled No Regrets. That's like a big F you to everybody. It's a big F you to Gene and Paul, uh, the Kiss fans. They doesn't regret his actions. I mean, I mean, drinking and driving, uh, you know, wrecking the cars, uh, Anton Fig got hurt, 
uh, in one of the wrecks, uh, and then he he says no regrets. Uh, that's uh, he should have named his book No Conscience. I think he has this rock star mentality, and that uh, from back in the day that uh, always rock stars are above other people when it comes to uh, their actions uh, are always forgivable and things like that. Um, and I think that was Ace's downfall with the alcohol and the and the drugs. That you know, the, he, that's what rock stars are supposed to do. The DeLorean story, he's got all the facts wrong there. And I know uh, um, John Ostrowski and uh, Joe. I don't know Joe's last name that wrote the. Wrote, uh, they were the they were the ghost writers. They did all the work in the book. I could tell already from what I read, and um, they had to do a lot of research. So I, I don't see. Ace remembering much uh, from the little bit I did read, uh, you know, the excerpts of the chapters that I did read. Ace wasn't um, correct in any of it, and, and then there was a lot of big fu's in it uh, to all his friends, family, and I, I, I don't get it. I don't know where I don't know where Ace is coming from, you know, inside himself, his spirit, when he said, writes a book called No Regrets when he should have a lot of, I, I, either it's subconscious that he has a lot of regrets or he truly doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Lo que está en la actualidad y hasta y cuáles son sus planes para el futuro. Uh, just did uh, Marty Ballon, I did a DVD uh, live at the Hatch Shell in Boston. I played a uh, concert with Marty. Uh, he was with Jefferson Starship and Jefferson Airplane. Uh, I worked with Liberty DeVito, great drummer, great guy. Um, uh, I worked with Angel. Uh, I did the uh, Sweden Rock Festival with them years ago, and um, I replaced Greg Jafria in that band. That was that was cool. Um, and I have a book coming out called "On a Wing and a Prayer with Angel." Um, that should be coming out shortly. And I have another book coming out called "Kiss Stalker Unmasked." Uh, that should be great. Uh, Kiss fans are going to love this book. Um, so I've been doing books. I've been playing, performing. Uh, I just came back from Helsinki, Finland, uh, from the Kiss Expo there. And I've been contact, contacted from Russia to do uh, Kiss Expos there in uh, Moscow, Kiev, and St. Petersburg. And I look forward to meeting uh, Russian Kiss fans. And hopefully I get to meet the Argentinian Kiss fans, I'd love to come down and meet you guys uh, face to face, and uh, so you know, keep me posted. Uh, let me know. A lot of things going on in my future. Working a lot. Gordon, una vez más, muchas gracias por su tiempo. Uh, I want to thank Kiss Army Argentina for uh, uh, for all the questions, and uh, Kiss Army Argentina, love you guys, and I really appreciate uh, your interest in the in the Kiss and Tell books and the. Uh, and, and myself, and I, it's, it's an honor and a privilege, and I hope, like I said, I hopefully I, I get to meet you people. All right, take care. Thank you. Muchas gracias, Kiss Army Argentina. Thank you.